So I was cleaning and I was like working out a little bit here and there today. And I was like, oh, I'm gonna go to the swimming pool at some point today. And then it gets to be like 4.30 and I'm like, oh my gosh, Halloween, you're supposed to hand out candy. This is my first year handing out candy and I haven't gone to the swimming pool yet. So I start freaking out. <laughs> I run to the swimming pool. I go swim for like a half an hour, do everything that I need to do, run over to the store. Then I grab a bunch of candy and you better believe that I spent $25 on candy. <laughs> Now, if anyone comes, it's another story, but I'm freaking prepared. Because when Jesse and I were living together, we were like, yeah, let's hand out candy. No one came because we were living in an apartment, so we were like, oh, well, that was extremely disappointing. Two people so far have come, and I'm pretty excited about that. I, like, nerded out inside, and I was like, I'm giving people candy. I'm like an old person right now. I'm the only one in my house giving out candy. It's kind of sad. But all at the same time, it's kind of awesome. So I'm just gonna sit here really awkwardly and wait for people to come to the door and I've got all the candy in the world. I'm so prepared. Well, about 10 kids maybe came, so it's better than none, I guess. I still got, I, I was giving them handfuls though, because I was like, I don't want all this candy to be in my house because I know I'll eat it. If it's here, I'll eat it. So. I'm gonna try and stay away from it for a while, especially because I have to fit in a dress on Monday, so let's just not. And it has a corset, so I don't want to deal with that. <laughs> so I was texting Irma and she was like, yeah, I'm just walking around looking at houses and stuff like that. And I was like, oh, want a friend? So I'm gonna go walk around and look at houses. So if anyone comes to my house, I'm sorry I'm not here, but it's like, it's like 8.30, so I think that's the time that everybody stops. I think. I hope. Oh, so much candy. <laughs> it was my first time. I had to experiment a little, you know? Now I know for next year. I think the key is dressing your place up. Because if you dress your place up, then everyone goes, oh my goodness, they have candy. So I think that's key. Maybe next year. Then I'll end up decorating my house and then no kids will come and then I'll like cry. Just kidding. I'm only like a little dramatic. <gasps> I should make a little baggie of treats for Irma. That's what I'm gonna do. Cute. Done and done. Irma, here's your candy. So Irma's never experienced fireworks before or like like, sh sh shot them off? I don't know even how to say it. I've only done it once before and it was with Trevor. And then she told me that she'd never done it and I was like, oh my gosh, we need to do this one day. And then when I went to see her, she was actually right near a fireworks shop. So we were like, okay, it's a sign, let's do this. Um, so we went and uh, shot off some fireworks in a park. And then we ended up finding another park that we went to and just hung out there like we were <laughs> I don't know, in high school again? <laughs> I just remember when I was in high school, I used to like try to find places to hang out with people. The only places that were open were Tim Hortons. That's for all you non-Canadians, it's a lesser version of Starbucks, I guess. <laughs> it's like Dunkin' Donuts meets coffee. Yeah, I think so. Anyway, um, so yeah, we'd always like try to find a place to hang out and that's what Irma and I were doing and uh, we went with another friend and we just, we were kids, and no, we didn't do drugs on the playground. We legitimately just hung out on the playground. <laughs> that was a fairly successful Halloween night, I have to say. So, because this vlog is so short, I will probably put tomorrow, today and tomorrow all together. So, just so you know all my plans, because you really needed to know all that. <laughs> yip, yip, yip. Uh, uh, my, I'm going to see this every day. Where do I put this? Can you guys tell me where to put this so I don't eat it all? I'm gonna have to give these to my friends. Anyway, uh, night time. I just went and watched John Wick with my friends and amazing movie. It's one in the morning and I'm parked in the mall and it's so dead and like no cars, super eerie. Oh wait, there's one car, come on. But it's, it's freaky in here, I keep waiting for somebody to jump from behind here and just like attack me. I know it's terrible to say, but I just watched a really violent movie, so you kind of understand, right? Is it terrible that I slightly want to be an assassin now? <laughs> In movies, guys. In movies. Come on.
Dear anyone watching today's vlog, you're not allowed to judge my hair. I've had one of those <laughs> couple days where I just didn't really care and did not dress. I dressed comfy for the last couple of days. Um, I ended up training most of today, so I didn't really... You just gotta let it be sometimes. Let it go. Let it go. I'm in a onesie right now. That should tell you how comfy I'm being. <laughs> I learned something today. I kind of already knew it, but I will uh, let you guys know. So if it ever happens to come up for you guys, maybe you'll take that opportunity to do stuff that I didn't totally feel comfortable doing, but I saw the opportunity to teach um, somebody today something that I noticed uh, about the moves that we were doing in some fight choreography. And it came up and I was like, oh, if they just do this, this, and this, it'll, it'll work a lot better for both of us. And I don't like doing that kind of stuff because it's kind of out of my comfort zone just because I don't feel like I am a very skilled fighter to be telling people that but we were all learning and all doing things so I spoke up and said some stuff and as I was saying it it made me learn too and I I, I don't teach a lot and for people who maybe coach or teach or do something like that you might know that when you teach people you learn more about yourself or learn more about your abilities as a performer or whatever it is that you're doing in sports or Maybe in math, if you're teaching somebody how to do it, maybe you're like, oh, there was a shortcut or anything like that. It's amazing what happens when you teach people. You just have epiphanies. So that was really cool today. And just doing fight choreography again. I haven't done it in a while. It was really enjoyable. It makes me happy. It's like my zen. What is this? Oh, I should do this below my knee. For those who get that, we're friends. Tomorrow I'm working, but this next week is going to be sort of packed into a lot of training stuff that I've been wanting to do lately. So, I will try my best to vlog, and any encouraging tweets or comments I will read, and then I will remember that I need to vlog. You know I'm terrible. But you know, this is all about communication, you guys. When you're in a relationship, you need to communicate. And I'm going to communicate that I'm going to bed. So this is where the vlog ends. Good night.